Aloha, my name is Danny Gong, and I am a Hawaii real estate agent. I've been getting a lot of emails from people who are interested in purchasing a home in Hawaii. I've decided to make this video to help give you a general idea of what the process is like. So now you've decided to take your first step in buying a home. The most important thing is to know your budget. You've done a good job saving up your money and now you have a good amount in your bank, but you may not be able to buy a home because homes are one of the most expensive things you can purchase in your lifetime. For many people, they will need financing and that means they'll need to borrow money for a home mortgage. To get a home mortgage, the first thing you need to do is meet with a home lender and see how much money you can qualify for. You can go to a home mortgage lender who specializes in home mortgages, a credit union, or a bank. Each one has different plans and rates for home mortgages. It's important for you to choose the lender that you feel comfortable with. After you've selected your lender, they will let you know how much down payment you need to put down and how much maximum amount of money they are willing to lend you. They will also give you the details of how much you'll be paying to your monthly mortgage and for how many years. This will be the most accurate number compared to websites just giving you an estimate. Now the next thing is for you to start searching for your home. You can go to any website to search for homes in your neighborhood or you can go to a local multiple listing service MLS that will have the most up-to-date information of home sales in your area. For example, the real estate brokerage that I work under, Equity Hawaii Real Estate, has a website. And this shows the home listings in Hawaii that are for sale. After you've narrowed down your searches and found a home, a few homes that are within your budget, what's the next step? The next step is to work with your buyer's agent. Your buyer's real estate agent, like me, will schedule an appointment or go with you to open houses to check out the homes. It's important for you to go to the home and see the home for yourself because it may look very different from the photos and the videos that you've seen online. For me, I like to give my clients all the information I can find about the home. I'll do price comparisons to recently sold homes, give information about the neighborhood, traffic, nearby schools, supermarket, interesting local places, and things to be aware of in the neighborhood. Finding out as much information about the neighborhood and home is part of my job to you as the buyer's real estate agent. Also, I do not charge you for my services. I only get paid when the seller sells their home to you. After you've decided on a few homes and you want to narrow it down to the ones that you absolutely love or want to buy, the next step would be to write up an offer. This is called a purchase contract. There are going to be many, many, many different forms that you're going to sign, but this is the most important contract to sign because it starts the process of your home buying. I, as your buyer's agent, will be writing up this purchase contract for you and then we will be sending it to the seller's agent. The seller's agent will look over the purchase contract. The owner will decide whether to accept the contract, deny the contract, or offer a counter offer. If the seller denies the contract, well, that's it. They don't like what we've offered. If they decide to send a counter offer, then they're still open to negotiations. After you receive this counter offer from the seller, we will read over the details and decide whether or not you want to accept, deny the counter offer, or submit your own counter offer. After this back and forth has been completed 
and everybody accepts the contract offer with the counter offer, then we move on to the next step, which is to open escrow the next business day after acceptance. An escrow company is a neutral company that does not support the buyer or the seller. One of their main jobs is to make sure that the home seller is the actual legal person to sell the home. They will check the home history and see if there are any lawsuits or missing property taxes. And also will make sure that the home seller is the actual person who is legally allowed to sell the home. Also, escrow companies will check on you, the buyer, and make sure you have the money to actually purchase the home. It is important to have an escrow company to make sure that everything along the process of buying the home is getting fulfilled. They're kind of like a referee and make sure that everything is going okay with the transaction. The next thing to do is to put an initial deposit on the home. An initial deposit can be anywhere from $1,000 to $10,000. It really depends on the price of the home. This shows the seller that you as the buyer are a serious buyer and you are ready to move forward with this transaction. Then the next step would be to schedule your home inspector and termite inspector. Your home inspector is going to be your best friend. They're going to make sure that everything in the house, in the home, in the condo, is going to be okay. Or they'll show you what is wrong with some of the things that are in the property. Maybe they might find a water leak or signs of an old water leak, issues with electricity. They see and check the appliances and even the structure of the home. They will give you a detailed list and show you what needs to be fixed what's an emergency, or what can be fixed later, and what is okay with the property. The termite inspector will be there to check and see if the home has any issues with termites. In Hawaii, there are two types of termites. This is important for you to have a professional termite inspector. Next is the preliminary title report. You'll receive a report from the escrow company and you can decide to approve or deny this report. If you accept and approve the title report, we're still gonna to continue to move on with this transaction. You will receive the seller's real property disclosure statement. This is a form that the seller will fill out and just explain to you what they know about the property. If there was any issues with mold, any electrical issues, any damages to the property, any repairs that they've made to the property or even upgrades. So this is another form where you would decide to approve or deny as well. The next thing would be reviewing the association or condo docs. And this is for people who are purchasing a condo or a townhouse. You'll see those condo documents, the house rules, what are the requirements that you need to pay, how much money is in the reserves, what are some scheduled maintenances they're gonna be doing and repairs that will need to come up. And this is something else that you would also decide to approve or deny. After that, you'll make your earnest deposit. This is a second deposit basically to show the seller again that you're still moving forward and that you are a serious buyer. Next is an appraisal. This appraisal report will be conducted by the lender. The home lender wants to make sure that that home is worth what you are offering. For example, if you are offering to buy a home for $300,000 and the appraisal report shows that the home is only worth $250,000, well, the lender will not lend you any additional money to cover that $50,000 difference you as the buyer will be responsible to come up with an additional $50,000 to satisfy the lender's requirements. However, if the opposite happens, if the appraisal comes in at $350,000, so that's $50,000 over, then that's perfect. Your lender will be able to approve your loan. This is important because a lender will not lend you money 
on a home that's not going to be worth your offering price. Next is vesting and tenancy. And this is where you'll decide how you will own the property. In Hawaii, there are four common ways to own the property. And this is something that the escrow company will explain more detailed with you. After you decided on how to take ownership of the property, the last thing would be the final walkthrough. The final walkthrough is scheduled just a few days before you're ready to buy the home and sign the contracts. You, know, you want to make sure that everything is okay with the home because from the day that you've offered the purchase contract to the day of your final walkthrough, it could be anywhere from 20 days to 30 days to 45 days. And you want to make sure that the home during that time has not gone through any issues or problems. After you've done your final walkthrough and you signed off on the final walkthrough, the next step would be finally go to the escrow office and sign your paperwork to say, yes, I want this home. And after you've signed the paperwork, congratulations, you are now a homeowner and we'll bust out the champagne and balloons for you. Again, this is just a general overview of how to purchase a home in Hawaii and what the process is like. If you have any questions about how to buy a home in Hawaii, feel free to contact me. Or if you have questions about selling your home or buying your home in a different state, I'll be happy to recommend another person, another real estate agent to work with you and help you buy or sell your home. Thank you so much for watching my video and I hope this video has helped you. Take care and aloha.